Yeah. <clears throat> Hi, guys. Diane and Artsy Wisdom. I am throwing together a quick video. I'm going out of town. I've been so busy. We had a lovely Thanksgiving, but may, some of you may know my little dog, Tink, my senior girl, she, I don't know, was yelping, and we had to take her in Thursday, or Thanksgiving morning. I found an emergency vet, but she's better. They put her in anti-inflammatories and pain, but still something wasn't exactly right. I think her pancreatitis too came back, but she's been good for the last 24 or 36 hours. So that's good. So we are going out of town. Our lovely neighbor who watches the dogs for us is coming and we gave her and she's great. So I'm not too worried about her tink. I mean, but I wanted to quick do a video. I haven't done one in about a week because between Thanksgiving and I finished my mural, just tons of stuff. So I'm going to do a couple of big things or big things. Big picture is what I wanted to tell you. Um, I wanted to look into the future of the democracy. Small little idea. And the Constitution. I wanted to see if Trump was going to try. What are the chances of him deconstructing it or, you know, destroying it, I guess. And also his health. And that Cash Patel guy, who want he wants to head the FBI. I don't think that Heg Seth, the one he wants to do, uh, he nominated for the Department of Defense. I don't think he's going to make it. I think there's too many dark corner or dark things in corners and his life skeletons in the closet, as they say. Even his mother sent that email saying that he's not, he's got problems with women. Okay, let's get started. <music> First of all, thank you, all of you who are new to my channel, who have subscribed. Those of you who are old to my channel and my old viewers, thank you. Really appreciate it. You know, things have just been so busy and I haven't um, been attending to things here. There's so much stuff on the internet <clears throat> and on YouTube. I, I feel like you guys get plenty. So I pulled back a little bit because I was doing stuff. But anyway, big picture. Trump's health, but I'm going to start with Trump's health. And if you don't know me, I, I do, I get into people's energies and I look from their perspective. And before when I felt his energy, I saw that he was like at low key for this next little bit. Now it's been the time that I perceived that it would end. So um, I do feel, okay, why do I feel, okay, I'm picturing Diet Coke. <laughs> Diet Coke. And I don't, I feel like uh, he's, he always is tired when I feel his energy, but um, he's not, he doesn't feel energetic even more so. Um, I know we all, many of us think that it's just a matter of time before he gets something his mind obviously isn't going. And I feel like the, a lot of these candidates and nominees, they're doing it with his blessing, but a lot of those choices are made. Um, he's in a group kind of situation where he says, okay, and they give him ideas and he says, yes, that sounds good. He he makes the ultimate decision. You know, he's the uh, the one on the throne. Hmm. So I got these tea cards, tea leaf cards. I've had them for a while. Triumph over troubles, obstacles. So that's a good good sign, period of prosperity and abundance. I like it. Um, can we, let's see. I see like he's, like I feel my belly not feel great. And I feel like he's not sick, but he's not great. I know that sounds very vague. Um, grasshopper, situations in the balance that require careful handling. So I think some of the situation, his mind is not right. As we've said before, it's degraded. The dementia is kicking in a little bit more. He just looks out of it. He, he can talk and, and seem okay for a little while, but it's not good. Um, when it comes to the end of the month, I still see that darkness. The last week or 10 days, the end of the month. Uh, it's like a hurdle, but from now until then, because we're in December, um, why do I see, 
like if you were in a prairie in grasses and it's like open and it reminds me of like when you're in a cowboy movie or you know those kind of western movies where you're sitting in your ranch and all these possibilities are out there you know bad guys could come and steal your horses or you know somebody could come and attack your farm and burn down your cabin or whatever I feel like that I feel like I have prairie all around me and that I'm waiting and I'm in his energy I'm and I feel like he's preparing he doesn't know what's he feels okay you know he's got this whole ranch he's got this whole place but it's it's vacuous there's nothing it's too much like and he doesn't feel overwhelmed necessarily but he doesn't know what's going to happen and he's a teeny bit fearful with with the candidates and his nominees for these cabinet members or cabinet posts charles kushner in france mm. um oh, too much concern with sexual matters i'm not sure what that's about um <clears throat> anyway so let's look his health he feels it's like he's just waiting and waiting um and i feel all his people are just like little activities running around doing what they need to do paper paper all right so big picture i do feel like he is going to he's trying to shock everybody and just throw everything at it and in his broken brain he believes what he sees right so he sees this thing this new way of living and he He's using old ways of, uh, you know, bargaining or things that he used to use in business, which failed ultimately. But he uses those ideas for his decisions now. And he's going backwards in time. I feel like he's going backwards and his energy is in his mind. He's saying, well, this worked then and I'm going to do this. And then they're bringing it. It's very confusing. It's very chaotic. Um, but he doesn't feel that feels like he's not like I got it all under control I don't feel sick I just feel tired and kind of out of it and I don't know what's happening um good possibility for some sort of stroke type thing um April maybe in April uh, but I do feel like that's definitely a possibility with all the medications legal and illegal that he takes or uh, too strong and he's just used to that he says he's not a drinker because his father was an alcoholic but he's still an addict sorry that's what it is all right so let's see big picture is he gonna is he let's go does he gonna make it to the inauguration as of right now i do see him there's that big thing at the end of december um Wow. Okay. So something at the end of the December and then in the whole month of January, I see this big open space where does he get sick? There's some decisions that have to be made. And so I see them dragging him over the finish line to get there. So maybe he gets out of the picture. It doesn't feel legal. It feels like ballots or anything. It feels, I don't think, it feels like something else. And I've seen this before and I just can't quite figure it out. At this moment, if he probably will make it there, but it'd be barely energetically right now. I don't feel like him going running. It's almost like they're dragging him, his body across. That's, um, yeah. All right. Uh, the Constitution, absolutely. He wants to recreate it. Okay, will he? Will they, mostly they, and this uh, Heritage Foundation, Project 2025. You know, they think, okay, some of them, this group, feel like they're convincing themselves they're doing the right thing for the country. They do. Even though we know that, in, that it's abuse. And it's uh, money grab and it's greed and power. But there's part of it where they rationalize it or they tell people that maybe. Maybe they're just, that's what they're saying. But they're saying, yeah, this is what the country needs to do and we're saving the country and it's going to go back to where the basics and it's gotten so out of hand and so 
budgets and stuff or, or this money going to all these soft things that we don't need and that people need to take care of yourselves and yada, yada, yada. And all the immigrants and everything. But, um, and the cultural, I think in that there's so many layers to that project 2025. Don't get me wrong. I think it's horrible, but I feel like there is some nuggets of good stuff to eliminate waste and stuff. But when it comes to everything else, it's, it's just a, pork project as they say project with somebody's pet projects in it increase material wealth or spiritual growth i think they're trying to increase material wealth even though they they say it's spiritual growth in the united states um i don't feel the constitution is at risk right now to be modified in any way i feel like there's the next couple months after the inauguration after like march then they'll have started all these different bills and things to change stuff. But I don't think it's going to move so slow. I don't see it rapid fire. Like, you know, you think, oh gosh, they're going to change everything day one. I don't see that. That's just the constitution. That's the base level, the law, the brownie that Ruth Bader Ginsburg told me about that law. And Abraham Lincoln showed me that he covered with his body. Uh, I don't see that happening now. There will be some employees in the federal government that are going to lose their jobs within the first little bit of that. I don't know how many that will be, but I do see that. I mean, it's just going to be chaos. It's going to be chaos coming and going. There'll be blame thrown all over the place. And a lot of these guys and women too, they're going to butt heads and they're going to blame each other. And there's going to be a bunch of uh, resignations and um, and Trump is going to love it because he's going to he loves to pit people against each other but by then I think his mind isn't going to be super awesome um, yeah pay attention to your work so the, Dem the constitution no not yet now some of the purge yes they're going to they're going to try and get rid of a lot of the employees that they say or what's his name the muskrat says are um expendable it's just going to be a just a mess just a mess but those people those maga maga lover you know they're going to the ones not the ones that have the big the high you know the rich ones the the main people the regular joes that work in a factory or live on a farm or they and the ones that love trump and the tariffs are going to go in and they're going to lose jobs and money and they're going to be astonished and shocked and at first they won't say it's his fault because of course they'll blame biden or something biden did but eventually they're going to get the message that uh oh what did we do and that's good and that's good. Like I said, sometimes people have to feel pain before they learn. Uh, yeah. So, but when it comes to the democracy in general right now, I don't think that's in, in um, it has a chance, obviously. I don't think that's going anywhere. Uh, there will be shifts and changes. And I feel like they want to chip away at the three branch government and give more to the executive branch, obviously. But as it is right now, I don't see that happen. I think for the next two years, they're going to try and do that. But I think by 2026, the next, the midterms, it's going to be a big shift. And I think there's going to be a big wall of um, pushback. It, I mean, there will be now, but it, that's going to be like a lot of people putting things together and tying them up like I'm making a spider web. But then in 2026, it's going to be a lot more firm and a lot more rigid in that pushback. We just have to get to there, but we're going to be okay. Um, and big picture, I think I just said that, and Cash Patel. Cash Patel uh, heading the FBI. Uh, he's like looking back over his left shoulder. I feel like if I'm him and I'm sitting before a Senate committee to nominate, he's just very defiant. Reminds me a little bit of Steve Bannon, but more um, there's more depth to him in a 
like more depth of his anger. You think Steve Bannon would have anger, but his is more devious and self-serving. Um, Cash Patel is more a deep anger, a deep, um, the, to the point of hate, almost. It's a deep, rigid belief that, and I see him looking to over his left shoulder like he wants to look backwards and say all of these things were wrong. And I know that was part of his deal and he, and he thought the 2020 election was stolen. But it's more than that. It's more about, he believes there's so much corruption or so much bad faith or people trying to get at Trump. Or, he does. He feels like everything is skewed. And he wants to get rid of a lot of people who, which you would call them uh, just deep state or something. And he would call them deep state. And he really believes, and it's like Trump, projection. You project what you are, you project it onto other people. So I think that's what he's doing. He's projecting his own beliefs about corruption and how he is corrupt and he fudges everything and maybe... Um, goes over the line because that's what you do when you need to win. And he looks at over his left and he's going, okay. He sees it all. He feels, I feels like it is. So will he get into the FBI? Will he be the head of the FBI? Mm, it feels very agitated. There's a lot of yelling in front of me. There's some Democrat. I want to say that Jerry Nadler, but I don't think it's him. A Democrat that's really adamant or animated and adamant to, um, you know, I think it'll be close, but I don't think he's going to get in. I think they're going to have too much, too many people testifying about his stance, I think. I know the Republicans are out there going, well, we have to clean house kind of thing, and they're kind of supportive. But it, I think when it comes down to it, I don't, I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm just going to say I don't know. It's very on the fence. Um, but I, right in this moment, I don't think he's going to get in. That's, uh, what's his name? Pete Hegseth is not um, because of all that stuff. And then um, Biden's pardoning, pardoning of Hunter and of course they'll use it. They're going to use that for years and years and years. They're going to put it in a book and, and just rip little pieces off of it and bring it up and say, this is what happened and this is what corruption does and blah, 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 blah. And it's not the same. Trump isn't the same, of course, because he's better and higher level and he um, he's um, loyal and Biden's the corrupt one, you know. So they're going to bring that up and say all, oh, they're going to use that as fuel to rip apart a bunch of stuff. But I get it. They weren't going to, they were going to crucify him. Uh, and as a father, I, I know he said he wouldn't, but things have changed. So I think, you know, you got to do what you got to do and take it, take the lumps, right? All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to pull, let me just pull a couple cards in my Crow Tarot. These tea leaf ones, I'm still not feeling them. A couple things were there, but. My crow ones, my animal ones. I'm an earth child, even though I'm a Leo. Somebody had said they were a Leo with an Aquarius descendant, and that's me. Plus, I have a Capricorn moon. I have three plants in Capricorn and two in Virgo. So I'm pretty, and my mom was a Virgo. Very earthy, which is good. Practical and cool-headed, but because my moon is in, uh, yeah, Capricorn. Communication waterproof okay oh same thing here's water and water so i'm saying the message for us today is we have to keep our voices clear and straightforward and don't be what about you what about this what about that you know the right thing you know that um these people believe some of them in hate intolerance um and They've decided they want to be more white Christian, which the forefathers didn't, but they decided that's it. But this is about communication and not letting it bother you. Let it roll off your back. Let that uh, water just pass over you. If anybody gets angry, 
and it gets angry here. Goes right over my head, goes around me, I'm protected. And because you know when you're doing the right thing, you know that. And um, you can stay in that powerful light of God and truth and um, the Holy Spirit staying staying in that beautiful light of knowing that you're uh, of light and love that God represents and spirit represents in all of us and are all our fractions of light. Okay. So I guess that's for, you know, when you had a fight with your family or people that, you know, don't let it get to you. Just move forward, move through it. Okay. But keep speaking your truth. All right, you guys. I'll see you when we get back on our trip. We're going to see the Oilers play in Las Vegas. Hopefully I make a couple bucks, but <laughs> more than likely I lose because that's how that goes. All right. Take care, guys.